The Quench, where you ask, we answer. Now, before we went to the break, we had a few issues of standing. And one of the issues that I want to bring to light in, to our panelists is a woman acting desperate. Does a woman making the first move make us seem desperate? Now, I know you disagree with women making a first move, but really answer it um, subjectively. Tell us, do you think a woman making the first move means she is desperate? Uh, thank you very much. The, the, there's a comment that was, was, was made that... Uh, Kwa nini ni pito na chenye nataka? Mm. Arafu nwe nasema ni likuwa nataka pale. So you see, you, it's outright that you, you're desperate. When you're saying that I must oh, get no. this and I must get it the way, I must get it, isiene na muingine. So it comes out so so well that you're already desperate. Yeah, is it? But, but let, let me hold it just there and let her talk on the matter. Do you think it is an act of desperation to make the first move? No. And why? <laughs> because mm -hmm. talking my mind and saying what I feel, I mm -hmm. desperation. Kwa sababu, ni venye ni nafil, najua? Ni venye ni nasikia. The what is inside me is making me talk make of what, <laughs> hey, make move of what I'm feeling. Kwa hivu, I'm not, it is not said me it's that I'm desperate. Speaking your mind. Speaking my mind. Okay, that is a okay. good my heart. I, I see you, I see you. <laughs> Yes. Uh -huh. No, I, I'm trying to think, and when, when we, were, we, have, we were having that that conversation, I was thinking of uh, the man after God's own heart, David. Mm -hmm. Yes, David. Think of the many women that David loved, and he, he brought them here. Think of Solomon. So you can imagine that all those ones are sending their applications <laughs> to, to to David or to 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 to, to, um, to Solomon. So I think it is. It, I wouldn't buy into a woman going out there to hunt. Or to ask a man that men have been looking at the qualities that I've wanted for a man. Remember, women are, are, are emotional beings. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so you look at a man and look at his physique, and you say, "This is the this is the height I've wanted. This is the color I've wanted. That's the voice I love." And then that is not what keeps a family because it's, it's so dangerous to say that. Yeah, these are the physical features that I would love, and then you say, "He height and he Peter." But why, let me ask you before you continue, why is it okay for a man to say he hired an Peter to use your words? Because when they look at a fleet of ladies, there is one that stands out, yes? Mm -hmm. That one stands out because of her behavior, because mm -hmm. of her ways, because of her looks, because of all of those things that are in your list, yes? Mm -hmm. If a man can look at a woman and say, I do not want to miss out on that, mm -hmm. I would rather try. Why can't a woman do the same? No, what I would say is, eh, you allow me to say this, uh, okay. that God gave us the, that preference. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is, uh, it's, it's Adam who slept and woke up to find a good thing in front of him. Uh -huh. And he said, this is perfect. This is a good thing for me. Uh -huh. And then the other thing is, I, I also bring it into another perspective where um, it's the head of every church is Christ. And the uh -huh. head of every man. Okay. Uh, the, the head of every man is Christ. Right. And the head of every woman is uh -huh. Is man. man. So if I am the head, so the head is the one that is housing the eyes. So it's the eyes that are going to be seen. So if you're not the head, then why should you have eyes to see that? To echo, to echo what you've said, in the book of Ephesians 5.23, it says, For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the, heart, of the church, his body, which is which he is the savior. So if the husband is the head of the house, you're saying that, mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. wife is second, mm -hmm. then the husband should make the first move. Yes. Please disagree with that. Just, 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 just the same. I also want to go to uh, when the Bible talks of the bride of Christ. Mm -hmm. It is not the bride of Christ that approaches Christ. Mm -hmm. It is Christ bride, who approaches. The bride's wait. And yes, Christ so you wait until you hear the call. We don't say that, eh, ni kama nimeka sana uja ni yoko na kuja. So, we wait until you get the call. If you take yourself there, mm -hmm. then you realize that the life you're going to live is going to be so tough. It's just mm -hmm. like saying, it's going to be so hard for you to, to act like that. But for me, being a man, it's actually normal. I don't wake up in the morning and pray fast. It, uh, it's it's, it's actually natural. Yeah, it's, it's just natural. So there are certain things that God gave us as a preference. That This is this, this one comes out so well that this is what a man is, is expected to do. That is biblical, biblically and culturally, which actually borrows from that. 
Uh, so when a woman moves out there and moves from the balance and goes to the other side, then it will leave a lot of questions. Pastor MJ, you told <laughs> us they can make suggestions. Yeah. They can make suggestions. Mm-hmm. They cannot make the first move, but they can make suggestions. Yeah. What kind of suggestions? Um, I want us to talk about that because I want to. I want him to tell us are those suggestions uh-huh. first moves because uh-huh. it's very categorical and women must not tell us what kind of suggestions would you say are suggestions? W- which ones have you ever made? <laughs> <laughs> uh, for, for my part, at a mini, see a mini, make the first move mm, okay. because the one who made. The first move, uh-huh. and we got married. Oh, amen. Mm-hmm. But ninangalia in another direction, in okay. another dimension. Kuna watu wenye hushindwa kuongea, men hushindwa kujiongea. So that when that's when Elisema, a lady can chip in na afanye nini, a suggest. Na hizi suggestion ni, yani the way you you react to that person, Sorry. the, the, the <laughs> actions, they can uh-huh. speak louder than even the words mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, as pertaining to the to the love life or the love story. So you can suggest things like maybe, or maybe a relationship, in that relationship and the person is not moving. Uh, uh, send me something to go ahead. So sapu uh, uneza suggest, uneza msaidia. Maybe can, can I help on something mm-hmm. on that? Um, for the men who cannot approach or they, they love somebody and they're not able to speak, huh? this, you can find a foundation that is a place where you can anchor on a, um, somewhere and mm. say, just like Eliezer was sent. Ah. Yeah. So you can also look for <laughs> an, 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 an Eliezer and tell that Eliezer, I love that girl. I'm unable to 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 tell her how I feel. So can you go I, and tell her this is what I feel? To the then, then after sending that, good, the girl now will come. Now we can now have a conversation <laughs> after Ibiza has gone. Because I can see our faces are not really happy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my question would be: If the woman should make the first move and essentially suggestions in this case, what should be these suggestions? As mm. you are answering that, answer this: Would you like, if you are a woman, to be sent for someone? And if you are a man, <laughs> would you send someone? Eh, those hands. Let's start with the gentleman because we have had so many ladies speaking on the matter. For me, it's a very big no. Because <laughs> the one who are, you are sending to mm-hmm. might <laughs> You can think, you can think he's going to <laughs> ku, ku pay your sifa, then kifiko uko. Yeah, Kumbi anaenda <laughs> kujitetea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hi, hi. I'm Naomi Blessed. Uh-huh. I agree with my brother. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're also not answering my question. What kind of suggestions can women make? Um, as you pass it along, make sure the next person is answering that. Val, tell us, would you like someone to be sent? <clears throat> I agree with my brother, yes. But, you know, in every successful home, mm-hmm. behind us, every successful man, there's always a woman. Okay, but so uh-huh. sometimes, uh-huh. as women, uh-huh. sometimes you find the men don't make good suggestions in the house. Okay, and the women are there to back them up. Uh-huh. And you find when the when the woman takes the lead, uh-huh. the wo- the man at ona eh kumbeni kona wife mnyaneza ni idea in one place or another. <laughs> okay, so I think women take the lead. Uh, we are we are we are we fast moves. Um, tell us. What kind of suggestions if a woman is to take the lead, should she do it? Amma, you, you're upfront. Let's just, I tell you, this is what I want. Are you for it or against it? What, what would you do? If you were to make a fast move, what would you do? I'll be for it. Say it point blank. Pass it to the lady in front of you. Pass it to the lady. Uh-huh. Hi. Hi. I'm Awi Ramasi. Uh-huh. So a first suggestion that I'll make uh-huh. is smile at you or ask you for a coffee date, just a friendship date. If out of that conversation you can't feel like I'm attractive to you, then let, let, let that friendship attach that relationship. Oh. oh. Yeah, first move. Oh, okay. You dress nicely, you go for that, you talk nicely as friends. If he can't see what he has at the table, <laughs> then leave it. For me, on a personal level, I, I would feel... If you're making the first move and then I'm not interested in you, mm-hmm. no matter how much I try to pretend and be together, we'll never be together. <laughs> because uh, it is not like it's the I, I, you made the first move and I, I don't need you. You don't so need them. I don't need you. I'm not interested in you. Okay, that's a better. So idea. I'll be use the, all the ways to find another person. So I'll have to make another move different from this one. Mm. I think it's two-way traffic. If, if someone makes a move towards you when you're not for the idea, 
Mm-hmm. Whether you're male or yes. female, it's yeah. a no. Yeah. It is a no. It is yeah. a no. But Baraza, before you pass on the mic, I want you to tell us if a woman was to make suggestive moves, because you said she should not make the first move. If she was to make suggestions, what suggestions would you take to account? What would a woman do when you would think, hey, I think this one is looking at me funny? <laughs> I think uh, the way she submits in a way. I'm sorry. Submit, you merely know this person. She's the one who is making the first move. Uh huh. So if you're making the first move, you have to show everything that why I deserve you and not these other women. Pass the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Pass the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh-huh. Give us your views. I'm um, Virginia. Uh-huh. Uh, kwangu mi nasema yes. Kama ni kutumiwa that el- Eliezer, yes. Because huyu Eliezer haku wanatumwa any Eliezer, but specific one. So hapa kwa kugeuziwa, haingewezekana hai because hata ukiangalia wakati Abraham alikuwa anatumana eh, Isaac akatafutiwe mke alituma mtu mwenye aliishi naye miaka yote na this man was submissive to Abraham so alikuwa anajua which kind of a man mwenye ninatuma si ati walituma just anyone so you you are for the idea someone should be said yes if someone can't speak their mind it's better uh-huh. than kukua mwanamke ndiye anaenda kujiulizia okay. it's better you send the eliezer than the ready because even uh, uh, ne, the next nini move itakuwa ile ya uh, he huyu uh, naye kweni anakuwa ngaje na hata ukifika home saa zingine it can uh, lower your your standard how is because, this lowering your standards if you're asking for what you want? Yes, you are asking what you want. Uh-huh. But again, not everything that you need, it, it doesn't mean it is good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So she has said not everything that you need, not everything that you want means that it is good. You wait upon the man to make the move. And if it's not so, Virginia says, Atumiwe Eliza. And again, someone. S- sisi ladies, mm-hmm. tunakuanga na ile moyo raisi. Mm-hmm. Tunaonanga kitu na the... Hata ukiangalia tu kwa church. Mm-hmm. Kiulizo ni wangapi wanataka kuombewa the ladies first. Wanakuanga wengi. Uh, almost 90%. You're because me? at zetu wanga zina move halaka. So, even a man can come and do such small things hapo nione ni dhani he's he, uh, anafanya hivyo juu ya love uh-huh. na maybe it's not na mimi ni take move niingie kwa box yenye haikufaa so ah, the so first move what a ma- men equate ni kwa to, to to back up her words um in the book of first peter verse 7 it says that women are more delicate than men women are softer <laughs> according to this verse <clears throat> and essentially if women are softer then to back up virginia and i think at this point i'm backing you up mm. if women are softer that means what you might have seen might have been deceiving and you have to wait for the man who has less softness <laughs> make the first move mm. now but 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 um i want to go back to my panelist and i want us to talk about ruth particularly mm-hmm. and how she made her suggestions mm. ruth was not saying hey i want you no 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 she was walking mm. she was speaking her shaft and she was doing it in a very suggestive manner mm. because she knew jo uh, boaz sorry yes. she knew boaz was a um, single mm. and potential mm. is that wrong uh thank you very much uh, what i would say is mm-hmm. um we, we we go back to the culture of the jews mm. there is a way that the women were trained that if this is what you want and that's why boaz <laughs> understood the moves mm-hmm. because culturally that was expected that mm-hmm. this is how you behave mm-hmm. if you'd want to talk to this to a man or you want a man to talk to you mm. and that's why uh, this lady was given tips on this is how you'd behave mm. this is what you're supposed to do and mm-hmm. then boaz having been trained on the same mm-hmm. same line understood that this is what this lady means but you come back to ourselves one we do not have that culture we have a different culture so, so it becomes it becomes so hard Let me for interrupt you for a minute yes. she said Masi said um i would smile mm-hmm. and ask you out on a coffee date mm-hmm. is that making a first move for you and would it be appropriate according to you um just making a smile S- smiling and asking for a coffee date you know i might think that she wants us to have a business meeting so i <laughs> i i'll go and i'll go we do coffee but because smiling is almost like natural to every woman it's very hard that if you're you're kind enough to a woman they're going to smile at you 
if you are kind. So uh -huh. smiling at somebody will not necessarily mean uh -huh. that they want us to go to the next stage where I can approach her. It might mean that I, I'm just kind uh -huh. and I'm, I'm just a good man that uh, she thinks we, we can, we can uh -huh. chat around and maybe talk about business or talk about something else. Or maybe she is looking for some counseling sessions. <laughs> 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 Hello, men. Men in the apart from the ones that have been communicated, is that the assumption you get when someone asks you for a coffee date that we are going to discuss business? Please let me get those views. Uh, my name is Brian. Uh -huh. uh, it depends on how you relate with the person, how you know the person. Okay. So you can't just ask someone out on a date and it's a stranger. You have to know the person first. Okay. Yeah. So if you do not know the person very well. The assumption is uh, this is a business meeting. Could be a business meeting. Maybe you found my number somewhere. You want me to do something. It is open ended. That is not signed, Basi. Uh, the ladies in the house, that suggestion is not good enough. Let's get it from another man. If someone asks you on a coffee date. Okay, for me, it depends on if you are interested with that lady. If oh. you are not interested, <laughs> even if we smi she smiles, you will not know it. <laughs> so it depends if I'm interested with you. <laughs> Thank you, Edwin. Let us pass it on to the next person. Baraza, Baraza. Mm. Uh, I think when you call me on a coffee date, mm. it means you'll be the one heading the conversation because I don't know the reason why you called me there. Mm. So okay. you'll have to carry the conversation as okay. a woman. Uh, the, the, the question is, will that be a sign enough that this woman wants something more than just bare friendship? It won't be a sign. It won't be. Oh, for Baraza, it won't be a sign. I want to take the gentleman just next to you, the one in white. Tell us, please, 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 tell us. If a woman asks you out on a coffee date, if she asks you out on a coffee date, is that a sign enough that she wants something more than friendship? No. My name first is John. No, me, to me, it may be no because Labda me onani konja. Okay, so... <laughs> A lot of things are happening. There's business. There's hunger. There's um, it's it's a world uh, it's a world crisis. Edwin, yes. I think that is why I say it depend on the if I am interested with that lady. Yes. So if I am not interested, I will think the way my friend has just said here that I mean, she might thought that I'm hungry, so he decided to buy for me a lunch or a coffee. So it depend on. I personally, if I'm interested with that lady. The women that make fast moves, the women that are for making fast moves, apart from smiling and asking people for coffee, what else can you do? So we can see these men are understanding our language because we've said suggestions, are, you know. Most ladies, ladies are, tend to be emotional and romantic, mm -hmm. while men do have the hard heart. Mm -hmm. So winning a man over, it's really, it's really hard. Mm. So you have to try. You know, sometimes... I used to, like, there's a movie I watched. Many ladies will go to the Google, the Google, how to lure men. So maybe it's upon you now to think of a style, maybe to lure them. <laughs> pass, it, pass it to the uh, back um, as we wind up. Pass it to the back. Um, I honestly think that men are born p to be leaders. Uh -huh. So um, they might be skeptical when a male presents itself. Because uh -huh. inaka um Mbona, right? Oh my God! Okay, I, I think <laughs> I think let's get let's get uh, let's get the views of our panelists, and I am going to start with you, and I want you to tell us <clears throat> these suggestions. Are they outright that this is what I want? Because you said yes to suggestions. Are they outright? Particularly the coffee date. Do you think it's quite obvious this is what I want? Yes. And then give us a parting shot of what do you think a man would think of a woman that makes the first move from your own perspective. Let's start with coffee dates. How is it for you? Does it make sense to? <laughs> yeah, they are good because at least you've tried. Eh? Hey, at you least you've tried, mm -hmm. you've spoken your heart, mm -hmm. your mind. Mm -hmm. So, hapo ndi itakuambia kama amekubali, ama hapo ndi yontajua, fit, bali hiko. Juni kimuuliza akubali, nitaona hao. So, kuna ka interest pia ya meo, ameona. Lakini ikifail, tajua hapo, haiku kuwa, ienda ibio. Mm, okay. So I think individually could jarib. What do you think men think? Okay. What do you think men think of women that make the first move? Kama anakupenda, mm. kama anakupenda ata 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 realize ni wao ianzisha. 
Ni, kwa sababu okay. the time atakuja okay. yeye atakuja na line zake mm. <laughs> hata jua lakini kama hana hiyo kitu mm -hmm. mibindi ataona after all you are the one who nimeita so hata siko na hizo interest mutualism is key i think that is yeah. something we need to note from her mutualism is key mm -hmm. and you last parting words what do you think of what do you think men think of women that make the first move and not kindly in first move you're saying just those suggestions like if i ask you out on a coffee date mm -hmm. and and also talk about mutualism <coughs> as we wind up <coughs> um what i would say is uh, your man you make the first move as a woman that is you approach a man at first they will have lots of questions as either it could be this is your trend and if this relationship at a certain point will fail i don't know how many others you've approached in the same way mm -hmm. or you've given the same signal so mm -hmm. uh, i'll be very careful on how to handle you because possibly there's another one and another one you've given the same signal mm -hmm. and uh, you might drop me at a time when i thought that i now have somebody we're going to live together so i'll uh -huh. i'll handle with you with the gloves i'll be very careful with care <laughs> yeah so um so on, on such on that i would say um men are very careful with those kind of women how about for just suggestions should you be careful with someone that gives you suggestions no you if you make suggestions uh because we are going to meet someone and just maybe talk and i might listen to you uh -huh. and you see you don't you are, you're not going to force me to love you <laughs> yes. so I'll, I'll i'll listen to you and th that will be it these are things that happen uh -huh. you, you just listen if you're not interested you leave her but yeah. then the danger is again now to the woman that she, she gets heartbroken mm -hmm. and stress be, starts from there and that might boil down into depression and then you start saying that men are bad and all that and you are the one who made that mistake yes. so it's good to to, to be anal analytical and that's why you find that men are analytical we are wired differently yeah, basically yeah. i would say that we are wired differently mm. all right so with that i think we call it an episode thank you very much for everyone that took their time to join us if you are seeing us from home make a point to tell us what you think on the topic and engage us on our social media platforms again my name is wangeshi karemi and this was the quench with mbci tv i'll see you next time the quench where you ask we answer